Okay, I have been a dormitory counselor for 15 years. Sad but true, and today I am going to show you the simplest way to tie a tie. So have your tie. Make yourself into a vampire. A vampire. Take the thin side, put it around your neck. Okay, the seam down, down towards your body. What I like to do is pull this tie, and it's going to really change depending on how long your tie is. Sometimes the uniform place will say the little short ties. Sometimes they'll sell you one that's as long as a rope. I like to find this, these little areas right here, these two buttons, coming over with this side, flopping it around, bringing it up through, and down the front. And what that does is it makes a simple little knot that you pull this in, you tighten up like that, and there's your tie. There's your tie. You want the end to be about where your belt buckle is, right at the top of your belt buckle. No, you can't see that. It's out of frame. And there we go. We'll do it one more time. Here, one more tip. If you're still having trouble finding the right length, one way to do it is, no matter how long your tie is, half it. And see this thin side? Make sure it's on the outer part. Half it again. And look, it's it's in fourths for you. So you you pinch that part, drop it. Okay, there you go. Hold on to that. Put it around your neck, and it's going to come to about the point it should come to on your body and with your length of tie. So then let's let's do the tie again. You come over. You flop it around into this hole your arm makes, right? And then I get a little closer. You're coming up against you into that hole and then poking it down through this little loop you've made on the front. Okay, and then you just are really gentle with it from this point. Bring it up. Always button this top tie. If you don't button your top tie, you get the merits. The merits for everyone. Bring your tie down, adjust as necessary. Now, another good rule of thumb is, I know you can't see it, but the tip of this tie should hit your belt buckle. If it comes right to points to your belt buckle, it's the perfect length. That's what you want. So that's how to be sharp at chapel. This little thing might flop around in your spaghetti at lunch, so always put it in this little, this little label. They tie onto the back. And some of you may have tie tacks, and if that's regulation in your school or your business, by all means use it. They look great. But otherwise, there it is. Oh, the ladies love you, chap. Maybe you'll actually get a prom date this year, I doubt. Again, one more time. One more time. Let's do it one more time. You got your Count Dracula look going. Take this. Long side. Over. Flop it around into this hole. Right, that your arm makes. You're going to pull it. And then it's going to go up through where your collar is and down this little hole you've kept open with your hand. Oh, don't let it tangle up though. And there you've got a nice little knot. You've still got a hold of this back piece that you can gently pull. And there's your tie. Now, a note about ties. All a tie is is a noose. It's a noose. People say it looks nice, but it's really so that your boss can can string you up if he doesn't like your job performance. So those of you in the upcoming generation, when you become CEOs and presidents and who knows, big shots, get rid of ties. Get rid. Of, they're dumb. They're done. They're just a means of asserting authority over lesser people. That's my belief. Don't do it. Don't do ties. Get rid of ties. Have a more relaxed work environment. Maybe go to the Mandarin collars that they use uh, in, in some parts of Asia. Those are very beautiful and, and classy looking. Some of the uh, Indian uh, type uh, blouses for men are beautiful, very dressy looking. There are a lot of ways we can do this without wearing a noose around our neck. So that's my two cents, and usually those two cents put me in debt.